Hello everybody, this is Minecraft. I am Miles Luigi and... Oh look, it's the evil Pop-Tart. <laughs> Alright, the topic of this video is how to get nether portals correctly connected to each other. As anybody who's played this game might have noticed, if you create a overworld portal and it brings you to nether, it works just fine. You create a second portal on the overworld, it doesn't work worth a shit, right? I never could figure out why I did that, because it's always been a pain in the ass. Yes, it has to do with how Minecraft tries to get the portals connected to each other. It won't put a portal inside of a wall, and that causes sometimes portals just simply get de-linked to each other. So what I'm going to do is, I'm currently in Evil Pop-Tart's house in our server, is I'm going to get this portal connected to a direct link other nether portal instead of it doing whatever the hell else it would do. So, our first step of course is to create the portal. Don't activate it yet. Yes, do not activate the portal. Stand in the unactivated portal and take a look at your coordinates. Specifically, the most important coordinates here are the X and Z coordinates, but you'll also want to write down that Y coordinate. Um, take the X coordinate and Z coordinate and divide it by 8. And you should have a set of three new numbers here, as you can see here. Do, 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 do. Alright. What you need to do is you need to construct a portal on the nether side of things at those coordinates. Doing that, you uh, bypass Minecraft's uh, nether portal generation code and uh, you have a perfectly linked nether portal that will never fail. And before you run out of here, just so the game doesn't try generating another portal, um, it's a good idea to activate the portal you just made on the overworld. But don't walk in it. Don't even think about don't, walking in it. Don't walk in it. Run on over to your first portal, which is in my house. So we're currently in your house? Yes. You got some fancy dancy door magic here? I I created some fancy dancing for door magic. It is completely irrelevant. Um, one little thing I would like to talk about is all your portals should be kind of in a confined area, because a portal in an open area can very rarely, but sometimes spawn a ghast in your overworld, and that can start forest fires and blow up your houses, and you don't want that. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> anyway, off to the Nether we go. So the first portal you make in the Nether will be perfectly connected almost all the time. The only time it isn't is uh, when you're in a wall. But in this case, I know I wasn't in a wall because I double-checked the coordinates. But uh, here I am trying to figure out exactly where I need to go, and I figure out that I need to go into this wall, which means um, what would have happened if we would have gone in your portal is we would have probably went to um, this portal here, and it wouldn't have been a one-to-one -one connection. Aww. That's what I'm thinking how the game would have handled it. But, uh... I'd also like to show off before I construct the other nether, nether portal, uh, you'll notice my construction here in the nether as some chunks begin to load. I've got everything made out of cobblestone, cobblestone slabs, and glass. <laughs> what are you afraid of, Miles? <laughs> I am not a big fan of the nether. The nether is a very hostile location. Pfft. I so. am not afraid of the nether. This nether does not scare me. So the reason for the slabs is nothing can spawn on a slab or a piece of glass, so um, it's impossible for zombie pigmen to spawn inside this little hut I've got here. It is a good idea, I must admit, but I'm not afraid of the outside world. Hmm. As we'll shortly find out, because now I'm going to uh, dig to that location on the world while uh, you do something crazy. I, I forgot exactly what you did. Screw this, I'm walking outside. <laughs> All I remember is while I'm digging out to this location in the nether is you were doing stuff and gas were shooting at you and it was pretty funny. Well, as you saw there, yeah, I was looking at what you're doing and I'm like, well, I'll let you dig and I uh, kind of mysteriously disappeared here. Right now I am currently watching. Yeah, you're watching. It's about here where you mysteriously disappear. Yeah, Miles turns around and he goes, where the hell are you? And all you hear is, DIE POTATO! Oh, wait, no. <laughs> you can kind of see your name down there, and I'm like, oh, you went exploring. Yes, yes, uh, your little twiny thing kind of went around, and I was uh, experimenting with things. <laughs> Mainly me kicking gas. I was, I was shooting gas. That's my favorite part right there, because I remember you saying, oh, shit, when I was looking down there and I saw you. <laughs> yeah, I was, um, I was under attack. I, it was, oh, it was, that was that was funny. But uh, was taking funny. those coordinates, we figured out. I figured out the other portal. Um, it was indeed in a wall, which means there wouldn't have been a one-to-one -one connection. Um, got to construct that other portal right here. 
And it should have been close enough, if I remember correctly. It was like maybe one coordinate off. Yeah, the actual location of this uh, nether portal is actually two Y coordinates high, but the Y coordinate is the least important coordinate. You can be the furthest off on the Y coordinate and the portal will still work, because the Minecraft checks X and Z coordinates before the Y coordinate. Okay. So, yeah. But it's a good idea to line them up, because if you do have two vertically orientated portals, it will look at the Y coordinate then. Okay, so you do have to be fairly close, just not uh, way off. Yeah, the Y coordinate's the least important. But regardless, once you've got all that set up, and take a look at this, the portals are now connected, and they're always going to work. Ta-da! So, that is so cool. Now we have nether transportation between our houses, and you now know how to create nether transportation between any points. Yay! And then, of so. course, we were... I was so excited, I was bowing to you. Good day. Good day, sir. Good day. <laughs> At that point, I decided to give you back your pick because you gave that to me because my pick ran out, and you're like, no, you can have that. And I'm like, awesome. Yes, I, I ended up giving that back because I am thanking you. Good day, sir. And I'm like, yes. So that is how you connect nether portals, but I decided not to just leave off the video on an instructional note. There's a few other funny things that happen. First off, um, I'm generally not a big fan of having nether caves with netherrack because netherrack can be blown up by ghasts so I decided to go out the task of surrounding this with cobblestone and of course while I do this evil popter decides to have more fun um, destroying ghasts yeah I needed some revenge so uh, I went out exploring <laughs> again actually I was creating a new bridge for miles and uh, I don't know exactly when it happens but you'll, you'll, you'll see it happen but generally what happens is uh, I start surrounding this in cobblestone and you'll pop dirt starts killing ghasts and I'm like, I've only killed three ghasts in my entire time in the nether. I normally run away from them. And yeah. you're like, mwahaha. Yeah, I, uh, I killed six while I was in here. Six to eight, <laughs> if I remember. Because basically when I walked out around the corner where Miles had stopped working, there was like five of them that were huddled in this corner and I was like, die! And uh, <laughs> Miles was getting quite afraid because all he heard was crazy noises and stuff dying left and right so uh, it, and then at this point I think you decided to go look for me yeah I'm like where did you go and I think at this point you're like oh shit gotta run gotta run gotta run because I think you might have hit a zombie pigman I, uh, I think that's what it was I was killing zombie pigman for quite a while so <laughs> so um, yes in Minecraft 1.7 there's a bug that zombie pigman will chased after all players if one player provokes them so yeah and I killed like six of them but uh anyway I do have one other thing to show off that I wanted to show off our audience up here um, is a current project that I've been working on that I've kinda hit a creative stall point because I'm not entirely sure what to do with it that's why I left it in this video here I've got my plan was to make like a sky sanctuary of some kind that you can only access via another portal so that the whole thing is floating And I've got a building over here started, but now that I've laid out the floor, I'm not entirely sure what to make out of this sky sanctuary. Oh, so, wow. This looks very interesting. I like this. So, something kind of funny happens as I'm sitting here walking. <laughs> I walk right off the damn edge, and you can't see it on the video because you don't have clouds turned on, but I have the normal skinning. There is a cloud at the end of that at the end of that pier, and it looked like it was white, like freaking cotton. And guess what happens? I walk straight off the damn thing. I go, what the hell is this? And you just, you were, you were busting out laughing. Oh, I was, uh, so I was laughing harder than I'm laughing right now because I thought it was really funny. Yeah, oh, you, all of a sudden you just see me walk right off the edge. I don't stop. And you're like, what did you just do? There was a cloud there. I can't believe you can't see it on that screen. While oh I was God. building this, I never fell. And the first, first thing you do is fall. I did not do that on purpose. There was a cloud there, and I just thought it was part of the thing, and I fell off. What the hell? Oh, wow. But uh, the question to the audience is, what should I make out of this sky sanctuary now that I've got a floor plan listed? Um, I honestly don't know what to make out of it, so I do look forward to some of your responses. And if I get something good and I decide to make it, I will make a video response to this video. I want my damn stuff back. I tried jumping so, off, committing suicide, but it doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, at this point, Evil Pop Dirt tried to get his stuff back, tried jumping in the water a few times, and. Don't you end up getting it back? No, I just ended up saying screw it because I couldn't self kill myself. 
<laughs> it was pretty funny. But anyway, uh, the, that was the video. Um, This has been Miles Luigi. And this has been the Evil Pop-Tart. <laughs> See you next time.